Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to show you exactly how you can do a hanging indent for your reference list. Now I will show you this one here after I switch over. Uh, the first one, this is inside of Google Docs. I'll show you one with Google Docs and then I'll show you another one on Microsoft Word as well. So when you have your reference list right here, uh, you can see that a hanging indentation has the very first line is left justified and then the following lines are uh, are indented uh, just uh, I think it's 0.5 inches here. So as I'm going through here, this, this just makes it easier for someone who's reading your paper to be able to see the different references in your paper. So as I'm going through this, uh, I see that all of these have hanging indentation until I get down to the very bottom here. Okay, and I see this one here from Eurostat in my paper that needs to be uh, set with a hanging indentation. So what you'll do is you will find the citation here, the reference, and you'll highlight it. Okay, and then you'll come over to where it says format. Okay, so under format, we have align and indent. And if you go down to the indentation options right here, click on indentation options, and you'll see special. Right now it's set at none, but we want to set it for hanging. So click on hanging indentation. You can see it's set at uh, 0 0.5 inches right there. And then we'll apply it. Okay, and this automatically sets it like this. So one thing you don't want to do, you do not want to hit the tab key. So uh, you, you will, once again, you highlight everything, go to Format, Align and Indent, Indentation Options, and then you'll set the special for Hanging, and you'll click on Apply. Now, one other thing uh, just below that, you can see that I've got a, um, a URL that, uh, that doesn't have a hanging indentation here. But if you were to click on this one, and you can go to right after where it says HTTPS, colon backslash backslash uh, let's say that we want that to also be a hanging indentation you would click on shift and return or shift and enter and this will automatically keep the hanging indentation but it will split up your url as well okay so that's how you can split up a url right there so that is the example for my google docs now let's say if you are working on a microsoft word document this is the exact same paper uh, except in Microsoft Word. So I can see everything is set with hanging indentation. But when I come down here to this exact same one that we were at before, there it is. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll highlight your reference right there. And then you're going to go uh, the format. Here we go. So with the format, uh, with this one here, we're going to go up in Word format the paragraph. Okay, so on here with my paragraph, uh, indents and spacing, right now we have the indentation. There we go, so special. Right now it's set to none, but we're going to set this hanging, and this automatically goes to 0 0.5 inches here. Okay, and I'll click on okay, and there we go. So you'll have to do this for each reference, each individual reference here. And the same thing that I did with my Google Doc, Let's say that I want to split it at HTTPS colon backslash backslash backslash. Uh, you'll hold down the shift key plus enter or shift plus return. And that'll give you the same result here. All right. So I hope that that was helpful. Uh, once again, highlight your reference. Go over to format, paragraph, and inside of paragraph, special, you've got hanging. And then you'll click on OK. So I do hope that, uh, that that was very helpful. And uh, please let me know if you do have any other questions. All right. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you in the next video.